So one of the things in, in marketing that's really important is to understand who your buyer persona is. Um, and that persona might have a different uh, job title um, or job function based on your product and the uh, solution that it um, offers to its clients. Um, and many times um, solutions that businesses offer can be uh, good for many people within a company or many different types of people. Um, so in this case, um, perhaps you have a software that you're selling to uh, companies and you have different personas based on what their interests are. So CFOs, chief financial officers, are going to be more interested in how it affects their bottom line. General managers might be more interested in how a software affects the productivity of their teams. And the chief information officer um, might be interested in how it's going to affect the database of the company. Um, and so you can send um, different people the information that's corresponding to them based on the implicit and explicit data that you get on an automation platform. So for example, implicit data might be the pages that someone views or how many times they opened an email or how many times they clicked on a certain link. All of those, that data can be, um, can be uh, um, collected through an automation platform. Um, the explicit information would be information that the person actually gives about themselves. So maybe you ask in a form on your website um, their job for their job title or how many people are in their company um, or what industry their company is in. And that's the explicit data that then you can use to also uh, personalize that content that the next person will get. Another great thing about marketing automation is that it really creates this continuous feedback loop um, so that you can always listen to your clients and understand them better and provide a better service. Um, and so you figure out what kinds of job titles that your clients have, what um, kinds of problems they're trying to solve. Um, you may have um, a bunch of different blogs, but notice that one blog in particular um, had more views than any of the others. And so that will give you insight on uh, what other blogs to produce next and perhaps even what um, products and, and services they need. Um, another uh, aspect of marketing automation is that it really lets you iterate. Um, and uh, in iteration, you learn what um, engages the, your customers or your potential customers the most. So the first step is to plan out a campaign. When you then implement that campaign for the first time on your automation platform, you're gonna get a ton of data back about where people are clicking on your web page and what CTA was the best um, CTA to put in the email. What images uh, made people keep looking through um, your file or your, your PDF about your company. Um, and all of that analysis uh, can then be put into practices that then you, um, that then you implement in the next round, in the second iteration. So they can implement an even better um, campaign the next time around.